Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Alex Papadimoulis from Naturalist Games. Naturalist Games. And we'll be looking at Game Election, a game about how to choose which game to play next. Right, and so what Game Election does, as you said, is helps you solve the problem of how and which game you want to play with all your friends. Okay. So I don't know if this has happened to you, but when we get together, uh, there are a lot more games than people and a lot more games than time. Right. So um, how it works typically is everyone sets out all their games on the table. You sit, you decide, and usually it's the one who either complains the most or uh, is the most persuasive, ends up getting his game picked. Okay. So that's what game election is all about, is an is a easier way to pick the game to play. So, so we've got here, um, obviously we didn't lay out all the games, but a pretty simple example of three games that I've already brought to the table. Okay. Monopoly, Settlers, Seven Wonders. All right. And uh, what might be some other games that you'd bring? Uh, I don't know what we have here. What we were just looking at, Ninja Camp? Oh, Ninja Cam. Camp. That's right. Cry Havoc. There we go. Havoc and Star Trek Panic. Star Trek. So, you know, th we would obviously all have these like, laid out, sort of do a, a quick nomination round where we talk about Seven Wonders is this, Havoc is this, you know, that sort of thing. But how it ends up working, and since it's just you and me, we'll have to sort of uh, proxy some other votes okay. here. But basically, it's, it's as simple as it sounds. We take, there are uh, six games, so there's seven cards. We get one extra card to use at the end. And basically, you just end up voting on the different games that you want to play based on, okay. um, you know, based on how you feel, what you think the pitch was, right. all those sorts of things. Um, now, you'll know some of the cards... You're eliminated here. You can yeah. do. Like, now, some of the cards, by the way, they have a sort of special power. So this one, if I decide to hold yay yay um, till the end... I can use that, and if basically that means um, I can use that as a tiebreaker. So if it ties, then you know the, the uh, I have to set up the winning game. Okay. So a little bit of a because it's a little more cheat, a little more powerful of a card. That's how a few of the cards work like that. But once everyone starts casting all their votes on the different games, it comes pretty quick. Uh, it, it's pretty quickly apparent how they how people feel and how they will vote on the on the different games. That's right. I'm uh, random voting. I think that's that's also an effective way to go too. Um, so let's so let's just take a quick look at, at some of the different ones here. We've got Monopoly starts with that was not so popular. Oh, three vetoes. So how did that work out? Yeah, the veto, as it turns out, is not just I mean bad, but it's like negative X for every number of cards. So that's basically my, minus nine points right there. All right. So a little rough. And you can just see how quickly it is to start adding up these different scores. We've got three points, three or one, two, three, four there. Um, you know, we've got... So the no doesn't right take away from, from points? Uh, the nays are just worth zero. Okay. So... That's, that's where you're just feeling, eh, I'm not feeling too strongly about that. And then you, then you end up that. It looks like there's a veto here, so that does a minus point. But it looks like we've got a pretty clear or a pretty close winner. So we've got the one, two, oh, three, four, five. Oh, we got five, five. On seven wonders. Yeah, five, seven wonders. And then also, but minus one there. So seven wonders All right. ends up winning. We'll you set up. Pretty quick game. And also seven wonders would be an okay one to start with. Okay. It works for us all. Okay. Yeah, now we have a slightly smaller and quicker version of it called Game Dictator. Now this is a very simple two-player game. Two to six player game. It's a game. different game. It's a different game. This okay. is sort of a mini game. Here's how it works. Draw a card. Okay. Okay. My card says, stand by, someone will tell me what to play and how much I will like it. <laughs> That's right. And I got the Game Dictator. So we are playing Seven Wonders. Oh, how to play it. If there's variability or options in terms of what we're going to do, and probably who wins. Basically, I mean, you're the dictator, so it's whatever you want, right? That's right. So that's sort of our our very uh, uh, simple one there too. Okay. So uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Citizens, one dictator. You can't have multiple dictators. There's only one. It dictator. doesn't work out that well. Yeah. Always, there's one dictator and only one. Okay. So a quick, simple one. All right. There. So. Yeah. Thanks for the overview. Ah, my pleasure. Right. Thank you. Two ways to decide how to play. <laughs>